lunch break, call the kids into the kitchen because we're making some dishes today that are so easy. Your children can help you. The author of the International Cookbook for Kids, both one and two, Matthew Locricchio is here. And you say we've got three things to make. Even I can do it. If the right. kids can, then I can as well, right? We've got three quick recipes we're going to put together. So first thing we're going to do is a guacamole, which I know is very dangerous to do in Chicago because you have the greatest guacamole in the world in this city. Ah, uh, yes, but we basically, do. It's dangerous to do by me as well because I'll eat it all as you're making it. Well, I like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add some additional i've already got a guacamole started i want to i want you to see this this now why is why are you leaving the pit in there i leave the pit in because it keeps it from discoloring <gasps> it does that's my little secret yeah it keeps it from discoloring in here i've chopped tomato some onion some cilantro and garlic okay so we're going to put that into this and this is i made this about an hour ago okay. and it really helps bring the flavor up it helps ripen it and then i'm going to put this in here and i'd like you to take and mash for me, if you would, because I think uh, avocado should not be cut. You should mash it for guac. Mash it. Mash okay, is so the I'm... big deal. So mash that right down in. Mash this down. And I used a little bit of chilies in this. It is a little spicy. I but saw that you have the chilies there. I like a little too spice. Too bad. And then what I do is, at this point, I like to add a little bit of salt. I never put salt in until the end, because the salt will break the tomatoes down and make oh. them a little watery. So we try okay. to, and when we do this in classes with kids, they're really anxious to get that salt in there. So at the last moment, they put it in and they get the flavor they want. So, so we got to know here. not how to make the tomatoes too watery and not to have it discolored. Not this to have is it great. discolored. See, so there it is, and there's some chips. And I, when you get the chance, of course, I would love you to taste it. Oh, there, it. I was going to say, where's the chips? I was too busy looking oh, at the guacamole. Yes. Okay, so okay. I'll eat this while so you start the next. So then we slip. I'm going to move this out of the way. And what we're going to do is a spicy... Audio Bob, you're going to have to turn down my mic because I can't crunch this while you're trying to make the next dish. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a spicy tandoori-style chicken that you can make at home. Very simple. I have a blend here of spices. What do we have is cayenne. We have ginger powder, garam masala. We have allspice. And we have some salt. And all we're going to do. Beautifully on the plate. Thank there. you very much. I'm glad you noticed that. I'm really happy about that. So we're going to mix it's that like up. Sand art for the kids. Sand art. It's <laughs> sand art. See, and this is the kind of stuff kids love to do. They love mixing, mixing. So if you'll shake that on. Okay. What happens with that is oh. that gets put right on there. We're okay. going to add some fresh lime to that. Okay. And then. We're going to just toss this, and we're going to coat these pieces, all right? And what happens is the chicken, we've taken the skin off. This is skinless. Mm -hmm. So we've coated healthier. the... Healthier. Healthier, yes. And it'll allow it to make a very nice crust. Then we're going to take it, it gets laid out into a baking pan. Whoops. And this is going to bake about 50 minutes, and what we do is... We're going to toss it with a little oil. This oh. is where the tandoori magic happens. Okay. Not too much. You've got about three tablespoons there. Mm -hmm. And you spread that out and you bake it. And then, through the magic of television. Oh, really? That was there, so simple. It, it's so easy to make. It's truly, and kids love this. When I do this in class, they all go, oh, all those spices. I don't know about right, the spices. Right, I'm not sure. Well, that's exactly but, what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, no, they love it. <laughs> okay. It's, it really penetrates the flavor. I also made a carrot and uh, coconut chutney. Oh, and I yum. was so lucky. My chicken came from Harrison's. And carrots are always easy to get kids to eat. We better get you yeah. a dessert, though, Let's because do it right that's now. always the most fun. Cool. So what and we've we're got, running out of time. Sweet and condensed milk. We've got a little bit of uh, corn syrup that's just going to get mixed together. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cook this. You're going to make a candy. This is the point where... The parents are in the kitchen working with kids, okay? Because you're making candy, you want to be careful. Right. So you're going to cook this for about four or five minutes, and what you're going to end up with is a fudge. All right. All right. So you're going to get this. Roll that into the sprinkles there. What We're going to have to look at the uh, cookbook for the rest of yes, the recipe, the recipes I think. are all there. <laughs> cutting us off. Oh, you can find go. out more about Matthew Lucrecio's books at our midday website, wgntv.com slash midday.